Good morning. So today we are going to talk about Google Slides and we're going to do a Google Slide Basic 101. We're going to locate and open slides, naming your presentation, inserting text, inserting a picture. This is part one of Google Slides 101. Let's get started. Moving over to our Google Drive, we're going to locate slides in our Google Drive. So here, if we want to open up a new slide, remember, you want to keep everything in your technology folder, your tech folder. So find your tech folder, scroll down and find your tech folder. Here's mine. I'm going to open this up. And then we have a nice blank folder we are going to add to our folder. And in our folder, we're going to click the big new plus button in the top left corner. And then we're going to come down to Google Slides and click on Google Slides and that's going to open us up a nice new slide presentation. All right, our next step is naming our slide. Remember, we want to make sure we name our slide and I want you to make sure you put your last name on the slide and we're going to do it this way. So I'm going to name it Lyra and then online safety poster. Safety, if I can type right. Poster. There we go. So here I've renamed and then hit enter and it's saving everything. And if you click on these little icons here, you'll see we can star it and we can move it to another folder. And then, of course, we have a uh, document status. Let's check our folder. So click on move and you're going to notice it's under your tech folder. And that's exactly where we want it to be, because it, we, when we upload it to our Google Classroom, we're going to know exactly where everything's at. All right, so let's move on. We're going to click in this white area to get rid of that. So we have now identified where to find and open up in Google Drive slides, and then we've named our Google Slides. Make sure you put your last name, online safety poster. And the next thing we're going to talk about is inserting text. Now you'll notice here that it already comes pre-made. You've got also it opens up themes. You can slide through and, you know, choose whatever theme you would like. But when you're designing a poster, you're pretty much going to want a blank screen. So we're going to close this theme with the X. Now, to get a blank screen, we're going to right click on our slide. And we're just going to go down here to apply layout. And we're going to click blank. Again, I right clicked on my slide, come down to apply layout and then click on blank. And now we have a nice blank screen that we can change and create our poster on. All right, so adding text, very simple. You see these little menu tools up here? We have file, edit, view, insert, format, slide, arrange, tools, add-ons, and help. We can go here to insert text box, or we can also use our, our quick icon tools on the icon bar right here. So right here, you can see our text box. We can click the text box here and come over here and click and open and add text. So I'm just going to type something here like online oops, safety. Okay, so I have online safety. Now, I've inserted text. This little thing right here means you can resize. I always check the box, do not auto fit. The reason I do that is because if I want to make it bigger or change it, I can do so. Otherwise, it's just going to keep it to its own little auto fit. Now, I'm going to go up here and I want to look at my toolbar again. So you'll notice here, now that I have a text box in here, I've got the font tools up here where I can change my font and make it whatever I want. I can come up with any kind of font that I want and I can change the size. I can make it as big or as little as I would like. And then I can change it to bold, it, italicized, underline it, change the color of the text. I can highlight things. I can highlight it different colors. So these are all the tools up here at the top. This is basic, basic, basic. If I don't want to highlight, I can always click transparent and takes it off. All right, the same thing with others. If you don't want something, you just take it off. All righty. So now we've gone through 
and we've located and opened slides, we've named our presentation, we inserted text. Now let's talk about pictures. You can Google and save pictures, but the best way to insert pictures are using our tools by exploring. So if we click on tools and we click explore, we can open up explore and we can search our web for anything we would like. So we could type in, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so if we type in search online safety and hit enter, you're going to get the web, you're going to get images, and you're going to get your drive. So if you saved anything, you can always look on your drive as well. So we can find different things here. All right, another way to insert it, an image is, again, to go to insert, click on image, the little arrow, and you have all these different options. You can upload from the computer, search the web, find the drive photos by a URL, or just take a picture and put it in using your camera. And again, you can also do this with the icon right here. The tools are on it, right here on the, the icon bar. If you find the little image, you can click that little arrow and it gives you the same options. Okay, that way you don't have to go click insert and you get this big long thing with everything. Just a lot quicker. All right, so there's a different ways that you can figure out how to insert pictures. Uh, let's see, we did not insert a picture, did we? So let's go over here and insert, search the web. And online safety, hit enter. And then we have all of these different pictures that come up. You can also be specific and you could click digital footprints. I'm going to put digital footprints and see what we get. So I get all these different types of pictures. Here's another one. Um, I like this one here. We can insert. If you click on it, you can click on insert and it does it this way and it automatically puts it in there. Okay. Um, we can replace the image by clicking on it and just either upload or search the web. And we could also look for privacy and safety. And we could use different ones here. And you can also just drag it over and it will insert it. Try that one more time. There we go. Okay. We're replacing. So we're going to say replace. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's go over here to pictures, insert picture, search the web, digital footprints, hit enter, and then find our footprint we had, and we're going to drag and drop. And that also inserts it that way. All right. Now you'll notice when it first came in, it, it covered up some of our text. A lot of times if you would type in transparent, background, it will give you options where you can have a transparent background and it won't cover stuff up like this one right here. If I take this one out, you'll see right here, it's not covering it up. That means that the background of the digital footprints is transparent. So when I move it around, even that little white space is not going to cover everything up. Those are your best bets. So we have now uh, inserted text and inserted pictures. Um, we're going to take a break and we'll come back with part two of Google Slides 101.